Let code number uh, 1102, pass with maximum minimum value. This is medium, medium question. Let's get into it. Given a matrix of integers A with R rows and C columns, find the maximum score of a pass starting at 0, 0.0 and ending at R minus 1 point C minus 1. Mm -hmm. The score of pass is the minimum value in the pass. For example, the value of a pass 8, 4, 5, 9, and then minimum is 4. So we need to return 4. A pass moves some number of times from one visited cell to any neighboring unvisited cell. In one of the four cardinal directions, north, east, west, south. That is the same as up, down, left, right. Okay, let's check with example 1. In this case, this start point is here, and then this is the, uh, the end point. At that time, we are able to go into to the maximum value, so 5.4. And then next, going to 2, no, 5 is much bigger. And then now, it's the only way going down. So, it, this is the path we're looking for, and then <coughs> we need to, to return minimum <coughs> value to, to the one of them. So we needed to return four. And then <coughs> next it able to go to the press like this. So return is two. And then here is the going to pass is here. And then return is three. How are we gonna do? Okay, there are the, the several approach to uh, find to get a result uh, such as maybe we can uh, use union find or uh, DFS with binary search and then uh, the last is the, uh, using heap that is Dijkstra algorithm so today I gonna uh, use Dijkstra algorithm because that is quite uh, simple to implement and then it's quite a with this question. So first uh, I will use the heap and then in this case we need to find the maximum score. So to do that we need to use maximum heap. But unfortunately Pinus does not provide the maximum heap but it's okay. Just we change uh, positive integer to negative and then we can use minimum heap as maximum heap. So we use like that. And then uh, we getting uh, the maximum of the uh, we able to move and then uh, get maximum mm, maximum node one by one. And then when we arrive the result, we return the value. Value is the during implementation we will we needed to use minimum value of of the all of the pass we pass it because if the there are some other value is the higher than a minimum value we pass it we needed to change it so uh, that is the key point of uh, Dijkstra algorithm. Okay, let me implement the code. First, we needed to hit, so import hit q, and then we need to hit hit is initial value is the first is value. I will use the, the uh, multiply negative one to use minimum hit, the like the maximum hit, and then next is low and then column, and then this one I will use max hit. And then we need to visit it. You said because we don't, uh, uh, we never are visited again when we passed. So, the, okay, so let's fill first the value must be, uh huh. Okay, let me change capital A to low case. Then A, low, and column.
this is the first data for Earth, and then I will do negative, and then next is low and find color. And then set also I visited mark the start point is 0,0. Mm -hmm. And then we need m is length of a, n is length of a 0. And then start point is must be row is 0, column is 0. Okay. Then let's move the file. Keep is empty until keep is empty. First, we need to return value row and column. Means I will keep, we are we getting from heap. And pop heap. And then I will check if we arrived to the <coughs> our destination. I just return minus back. This one is the minimum value we pass it. So why we need one is uh, we need to <coughs> get this number to uh, find to uh, decide the next node we need it to move. <coughs> okay, and then next is I need it to neighbor name is next. A neighbor, neighbors is and so one comma zero and one comma zero. The move direction for direction zero comma minus one zero comma one and then next neighbor row and neighbor column in neighbors. And then this is the uh, relic. Uh, okay, let me make it the rear row. To do that, I needed to multiply and row and row. And then from this value, minus one is new neighborhood row. And column also column. And then, okay, let's in boundary check and m smaller and row smaller to minus one because it starts from zero and column and 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 low and and column not in visited we put it visited and then first I will uh, register it the visited and and low and then column And then I will add hip to the hip. Hip push. Hip and then we needed to input the three one. And then first we needed to put value right and then and low and and color. Which one we needed to input? Okay, at that time we needed to get the minimum value of each pass. So, if there are another value is um, bigger than this one, we need to use move the we need to use that path, not this one, because we need to find the maximum score of path. Does it make sense? So, at that time to do that, we needed to minimum of the this root that is we looking for for. So. We also need to calculate here to that that the minimum is in this case the value is that all is that we multiply minus one. So minimum to get minimum we needed to that's right find the maximum right and then value with minus a and row and n column. Does this make sense? Okay, awesome. Then, okay, if we do not find this one at that time, we, there is no path. 
like going from start to end. At that time, we needed to return negative one. the typo and no and column okay neighbor you could okay correct and no and column column and no and haha <laughs> this is not and right typo okay looks good Let's sum it. Awesome. Okay, let's check the complexity. Time complexity is it travels. Uh, this is R and C. So uh, time complexity is B go R multiply C multiply log R multiply C because we use heap. And then each heap operation we needed to log n. So time complexity. R C log R C. And then space complexity is only R C. That is same size, maximum size of heap. Thank you.